The Gulf of Mexico was carpet bombed with a highly toxic chemical dispersing Corexit for months on end, breaking official guidelines issued in the aftermath of April's Deepwater Horizon disaster, which stated that BP should use the substance only in extremely rare cases. BP recently admitted spraying 1.8 million gallons of Corexit on the ocean to limit the damage. But the U.S. House Energy and Environment Subcommittee said this week that the validity of those figures is now in question after learning that the U.S. Coast Guard fast-tracked permits for the oil company to use the substance on at least 74 occasions. Committee Chairman Edward Markey said, quote, BP carpet-bombed the ocean with these chemicals, and the Coast Guard allowed them to get away with it. They are a toxic stew of chemicals, oil and gas, with impacts that are not well understood. After we discovered how toxic these chemicals really are, they had no business being spread across the Gulf in this manner. What this could mean is that damage to marine life from the oil geyser could eventually be eclipsed by damage from Corexit, which is designed to break slicks into tiny droplets, which can then be consumed by bacteria. Some scientists say the chemical mixture, which at one point was being released at a rate of about 70,000 gallons a day, causes more harm than good and may have contributed to huge plumes of hydrocarbons below the ocean's surface. The fact that Corexit now seems to have been so widely used also poses the question of who exactly is calling the shots in the Gulf. The Obama administration issued a directive in late May that limited its use to all but the rarest of cases, but official figures now show that every time BP subsequently asked to be allowed to use the controversial substance, the U.S. Coast Guard instantly granted a permit.